Hello, everybody. I'm here to talk about the internationalization feature. So uh, as you can see, I've got an open data source portal. Uh, I'm a local government, like a small city, who wants to uh, share data sets about bikes and uh, sports. Uh, as you can see, uh, the UI is currently in French with uh, two data sets. Uh, trees, which is Arbor in French, and uh, Bags, which is Velo and Libre Service in French. Uh, if I change the language of the UI from French to English, the UI is now in English, but the data sets are still in French. I will show you how to translate uh, data sets to uh, allow it to change when uh, the user change from French to English. For that, I'm going to the back office. I will click on new data set to create a new data set. And I will select my archive, which is here. Uh, the, um, the archive contains uh, routes, bikes, bike routes from Paris to uh, other city in France. And I can um, configure the, the title. in French because uh, the main language of the data set is French. So everything I do in the UI is in French. I, uh, I, I uh, configure the data in French. I will go in information to um, add the description in French. I add the description. I will uh, select um, a team like sports, uh, select a keyword like velo. And uh, in the processing type, you can see that the platform uh, extracts the name of the column. You can see its origin, nom, distance, lien, and etc. Uh, the GeoJSON is the uh, root of the, the, the record. So Paris to, Paris to Rouen, and, uh, etc. If I save the data set and publish it, it takes a few seconds. You can now see that I have a table view, which is the, the usual one. Uh, I have a map. So the map where I can see the different routes from Paris to uh, the other city. In the information tab, tab I see the uh, description in French even if the UI is in English. It's uh, totally normal because I didn't translate any, anything. So if I change one more time from English to French, the UI is now in French, the title is in French. But if I go back in English, the title are still in French. Um, I can also configure a map, like uh, if I want to, uh, to uh, select to change the color from based on the distance. So uh, let's say I want uh, I want to color the, um, the route by uh, difficulties. So I go here, up, I select three category. Set green for the easier one. And now I've got the easy ride in uh, green and the uh, tougher one in red. I can I can use the widget to configure my uh, what we call custom view. So in the custom view, I can enable it, uh, pass my uh, widget code, and disable the standard map view. I save, I publish, and I now have a custom view with my beautiful color. Uh, so uh, now, if I want to, uh, I can uh, check with my colleague if the data set is OK. They say, they say to me, it's OK. So I want to uh, to uh, finish the work and tr translate it for the tourist. So I go back in the back office. I uh, I go to in the uh, translations tab. Uh, the uh, default language is French, because my data set is in French. So everything I wrote in the configuration was in French. So the main language is French. I can now edit the 
to sections which are processing on information. Processing is everything which is in the processing type on the same for information. If I click on edit, uh, I see on the um, on the left, like origin, non, distance, it's the name of my uh, column. It's my uh, label. So um, I already did, uh, if I already uh, did uh, the, the job to uh, translate a column from French to English, the platform recognizes it and suggest the new, uh, the new value. So origin is a from, name, non is a name, distance, it's okay, it's distance, link, is a lien is link, uh, GPX is okay, but GeoJSON, there is a, a mistake here. The JSON is capitalized, but I want it to be lower cases. So I just click on no and add a new translation. So uh, geo point today is okay. Up, I click on yes. On the bottom of the screen, I see that the processing is uh, all green now, so I can submit it. And now, do the information. Uh, it asks me for a new, uh, a new title. So it will be my bike routes. A uh, new description, uh, my bike route is okay. A keyword is a bike, it's okay. So everything is green, I can submit. I save and publish my uh, data set. I wait a few seconds. And now, if I go back to my to my data set, I will see that the, the UI is in English. So uh, I'm reading English. The uh, title is translated, so it's uh, not anymore in French. In the information tab, the uh, description is translated, the uh, term, keyword, everything is translated. And if I switch from English to French, everything will is translated. So the, the UI and the data set metadata. Um, it means that the, uh, the main purpose of the, uh, the feature is to um, allow you to only uh, load the data once and after that translate the metadata on the uh, different uh, informations. So the, the um, main, uh, the different possibilities are to translate which you can translate are the title, the um, description, the keyword, the name of the label of the column, because uh, we do not translate the data, which uh, we, we think that if you, are, if you have a data set, the data must be in only one language. So sometimes you will have to add a new column to uh, duplicate some information from on, uh, in uh, French or in English. But if someone uses your uh, data set, he, he ensures that the French and the English user use the same data set. So it's only possible to translate the, uh, the label, which is uh, the pretty uh, text. Um, if I go back to my catalog page, I have now, I'm still in French, so uh, everything, all my data set are in French. If I switch to English, I now see my uh, translated data set in English. Uh, the two others data set are still in uh, French because I didn't do the translation uh, work, which means that uh, you can uh, add a new data set and uh, then translate them, but you, uh, you don't have to do uh, all, uh, all of them at the same time to make uh, the user see it. I hope uh, my uh, presentation was uh, understandable. Uh, don't hesitate to ask uh, questions. Thank you very much.